So I want to start this video off with a disclaimer. Okay. The disclaimer is we are not breaking up. Very good disclaimer to start with. We are not getting a divorce. No. We are not in an open relationship. No. We are not seeing other people. Nope. We are not experiencing trouble. Nope. She's not physically leaving. Nope. Or has left. I mean, I've left the apartment while you've still been in it, and I've physically gotten in my car and driven away and things like that. I have left, just not left you in that sense. Do you think people are going to hear that? No, they're still going to comment, oh, I hope you guys are great, I pray for you all, and uh, you shouldn't, whatever, and whatever, and whatever. And I know they're coming from a place of care and, and love and whatnot, but I need people to listen before they comment. Same thing I would tell my child, listen when I talk to you. Listen to what I'm saying. Do you understand the, the words? words that are coming out of my mouth? Man, don't nobody understand the words that are coming out your mouth. <laughs> uh, people say, like, you know, we, we like both of you. We like, you know, your walks on the beach and your talks and your opinions and your views. And if you do, then thank you. Come on over to Patreon because you're going to get more than you've ever thought you could ever handle. Yes. That's where everything's going, okay? Patreon. Links in the description down below. They want Michelle because she's <laughs> super real and personable. And, I, you know, it, I've always said it's like, you know, the beauty of it is is you're going to think and say things that I would never. And vice versa. We see things from a different point of view a lot of times, but we still understand each other and respect each other's points of views. And then you say... And you say, and then comments are like, well, we really like Kevin and his financial updates and his advice and side hustles and money making and savings mm -hmm. and protecting your money in and out of the banks and things like that. Mm -hmm. Correct. So uh, with that being said, links down in the description to get your free stocks from Moomoo and opportunities to make money working from home. Simple and easy social media jobs. All you need is a smartphone or a laptop or a computer and an Internet connection. Uh, and also, don't forget to uh, submit your claim. Odds are everybody has a Facebook account. <laughs> Facebook's got $725 million that they're giving out for this settlement. What are you laughing I'm at? I'm laughing at you. It's a good thing you're not, your face is not in the video right now because y'all can't see him, but his eyes are wigging out because the pollen is very high right now, and he has not taken his Zyrtec. Is that what it yet? is? Yes, and his eyes are like... I can tell they're like dry and itchy at the same time and they're bugging the crap out of you and the left one more than the right because it's getting redder than the right one and the contacts in there. Redderer. Redderer. <sighs> My, that's odd. The left is red? Mm hmm That's not true. <laughs> I see what you did there, sir. So uh, we're going to have a talk about relationships. We're going to have a talk about dating. We're going to have a talk about money. I'm ready. And you made the recommendation suggestion <sighs> much like i've mentioned in videos when i say michelle says you should talk to other people she recommends and suggests that i talk to other people don't talk to the same people you've been talking to mm -hmm. on your videos talk yep. to different people talk she doesn't mean people. talk to other women no i mean if you only think of people well, as women i mean there's women 60 in there plus percent of my audience is female yeah. so whatever go talk to other women go go help them oh lord you know what i mean uh-oh they heard that. I know. They, that's all they're going to hear in the whole video. <laughs> um, so this one says people have started posting their credit scores on dating profiles and it's winning them more matches and better dates. Well, so we actually had that conversation, which I don't think people actually watched that video and, and took it for what it was. Not we walked at all. On the beach that day. And we talked about the people who in relationships, they split up a lot of times because of money situations, because of bad credit, because of inability to hold on to money, because of bad money making decisions, bad money spending decisions, whatever else. And so a lot of times they're like, you know, on your first dates, you, you should get to the, the meat of the matter. Talk about your religion. Talk about um, your do you want kids or not. Talk about whatever else. And talk about money. Talk about credit scores. Talk about these things because they are important in the long run. You would think that that would be an immediate topic because people have stated that they they don't have time. They don't have, they're impatient. They mm -hmm. need to get to the point. Why don't you hurry and get to the point? Your videos take too long. I know the video said it was two hours, but I ain't got that much time to, to watch it. Why'd you click so, it? So, you know, it's like if you are impatient and you need to hurry up and get to it, 
why are you be why are you beating around the bush? Mm-hmm. Why are you wasting time? Yeah. Before you even order the uh, the the appetizer, you should be like, all right, how much money you got? Yeah, exactly. But it says that users are now adding their credit score to profiles and reporting a windfall of interest, with many women reporting an increased number of matches and better outcomes on dates. Let me explain something to you real quick. I can tell you that I have a perfect credit score on a dating site. Where is the proof? I mean, you can say whatever you want. I could tell you <laughs> I'm five foot six and I weigh 120 pounds and I have perfect skin and catfish. whatever. I catfish the crap out of you, and they're going to catfish you with a credit score now instead of anything else because people are but, worried about money. But it's my credit score, it ain't your credit score. It ain't like you, it ain't like I'm gonna co sign on a damn loan for you. It's, but that's it's on what they're looking date. at. They're looking at. They're gonna look at your credit score and say, oh, they either make good money. Or they make smart financial choices. Therefore, if I want to get in a relationship with them, they have the credit to get us a house. They have the credit to get us a family car. They have credit cards to pay for stuff that I may want. Now, it says that, uh, I don't even know if his name is real. Leah Nicewander, whose video went viral in February after sharing her experience of the trend on TikTok, revealed that she got 17 dates in 30 days after adding the exceptional score of 811 to her profile. Now I've got three immediate, re- you know, emotions when I read this. And why number, do you want seventeen dates in thirty days? <laughs> number one, uh, when is uh, there going to be a, a charge? When is there going to be a fee for verification of your credit score on these? Yeah, you know, they're like, you know, if you want to put your score, but you're going to get more matches when people see that it's verified. Mm-hmm. All right, and then uh, number two, uh, this just proves to me in my opinion that she's probably just trying to gain more attention Visibility. to her TikTok. Mm-hmm. and three if i were to click on this i'm pretty sure she's thirst trapping oh. like Let i started guess. this article thinking this could actually be something to talk the, about the picture is clavicle and boobs I started the article thinking this could be something to talk about. And as I get down here, I'm thinking, no, this is just a strategic clickbait blog post to make people go to your TikTok account to see what kind of thirst trap you got set up. And, you know, 17 dates in 30 days, like, is it now, now, like, the new body count is just how many dates we can get? I guess so. Apparently, it says her matches were clearly impressed. Uh, I'm sure it was the credit score that did it. What kind of picture she got on it? Says it, it, says it's, it says, I'm smart and responsible. This one, her name is Sarah Hoeing. <laughs> or Honing. Honing. Okay. Honing. H-O-E-N-I-G. Honing. 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 God, that's... Honing. Mm-hmm. Eek. <laughs> Eek. She's got a very healthy credit score. So let's look up Leah Nice Wanderer and see here. Over on Ticket. So the first image is her. And then the second is a screenshot of her credit score. <laughs> she just straight up put a screenshot. So I guess you can verify it, but who's to say it's her screenshot? Maybe she took it from somewhere. I was about to say, unless it says her name. <laughs> but it actually shows that uh, in this must have been last year, May, June, and July, she had an 805. August, she had a 790. So in August, she wasn't so responsible. Mm. She, you know, she, well, what was she doing in August? Mm-hmm. But let's see here. Um, the picture is. I, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Um, Homely. Really? I thought you said she's thirst trapping. But I think that's part of the strategy. To Is not to look like the girl next door, not like the Kardashian? Sort of. Okay. You say homely. Oh, no. She's girl next door. Okay, so she looks innocent and sweet and whatever there. That's the, the thing. Because guys want innocent, sweet, whatever. And then they want you to turn into a Kardashian, like, immediately. Not a ton of thirst trapping on here. A lot of traveling. She's in Zurich. Uh, she likes to drink. So she may be a legit, I want somebody who has a credit score that can afford to buy plane tickets to go with me places. That can travel with me. 
And she could potentially be trying to uh, work an angle uh, from a business standpoint for credit repair. You never know. Okay. All right. I take that back. I take that back. Now, Sarah Honig, uh, I don't see a link to her account. But, um, yeah. Uh, Here's the deal. I think that 2023... I mean, I understand that this is kind of the new norm, mm-hmm. but I would never want to use a dating app. I would much rather go out and meet people face to face. I mean, 2020 to 2022, I can understand why the dating app made more sense because a lot of people were afraid to go out, couldn't go out, whatever else. Now that the world is open and we're back to the new norm, um, I personally would prefer to go out and, and do those things. Now, it's so, not going to be the same for everybody because it costs money a lot of times to go out, whereas it's free to sit on your computer. But the problem is you have a better chance of being lied to and catfished on the Internet than you do in person. You can generally read people a little bit better face-to-face than you can via a text or a paragraph or, you know, Well, Photoshop here's the thing. Pictures. If people aren't very good at discerning what's real from what's fake, mm-hmm. From a title and thumbnail, mm-hmm. from uh, fake news, mm-hmm. uh, satire news yeah. on Twitter, how good are they going to be at trying to understand who a person really is in real life? Quite possibly lacking the social skills of effectively communicating. Well, the problem is you can't get those social skills language. while sitting inside your house on a computer either. Now there are people who are homebound for reasons, and I th- that's different. In my opinion, that's totally different. But if you have the means and ability to get up and get out, you should get up and get out and, and meet people that way. If you want to find a, a smart girl who likes to read, don't go to the bar looking for one. Go to the library. Or go to the bar and look for the one reading the book. That would be me because I'm the nerd. Um, my book goes everywhere. You know, so the nephew, he was on some app yesterday while we were on the boat because he refused to get into the water. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that it was a compatibility app and it was going through his His contacts, right? His contacts, yeah. And, you know, it's like, is this the new MASH? Is this the new MASH game? Yeah, I used to love that game. Mansion, apartment, shack, house or Uh something like that. Yeah. Is is this the new MASH game where it's like, all right, it's, it's really not to really build relationships it's just a novelty for fun yeah is that what it is yeah probably and what's funny is that he he got compatibility with our kid (laughs) i'm like um that's weird because you're 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 compatible with your cousin which makes sense because y'all are friends like yeah like i mean i guess also this isn't alabama so we don't roll like that yeah (laughs) 